Throw Gang, we are joined by the work shirt wizard, Lauren Schlossman, and myself, the shadow shaman, James Harris. Welcome to the weekly running of the book. What are you doing? I got my wizard staff. <laughs> or is that a wand? A staff? Why would some wizard have staffs and some have wands? Well, wizards are, I think, old and they need, it's like a walking stick, right? Oh. Or And then you like pound the ground, form, pause, and then it like form splits, with function. It splits <laughs> the earth open and your, your ops fall into Middle Earth. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Um... But uh, you are the workshirt wizard, and I am the shadow shaman. Mm. Welcome to the weekly running of the boys with today's full episode only available on patreon.com slash throwing fits. You shall not pass unless you give us $5 or more a month. All right, I'm lowering your levels already. Um, <laughs> My bad. Yes, I just had to do the wizard bit. That was pretty good. Thanks, man. That's pretty good. You have a... I don't know how I would describe your voice. I don't know how I would describe your style per the Reddit, <laughs> but I don't know how I would describe your voice. It's like... Drug addicted Muppet. Whoa, 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 whoa! So, like a junk, like a junky Muppet. So Snuffleupagus to steal a Chappelle bit. But Snuffleupagus is like I need another hit, bird. But he was on that smack. Bird. Yeah, he was on that 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 good age. Um, <laughs> I'm just off that Celsius. <laughs> You're off something. Before we get into meaningful collaborations for once, becoming Republicans culturally, culturally speaking. Caveat. And you're not voting. And assessing GQ style Bro, do's and don'ts. Don't start spreading rumors. I'm registered to vote. I vote. As what? Well, I'm an independent. I'm not. Re I don't register. To, I'm not. I don't, I'm not affiliated with any political party. I'm not a mm. registered Democrat. Mm. I don't vote in the primary. You're not a communist? No. Pussy. <laughs> okay, McCarthy, chill out, bro. Um, the reverse McCarthy. <laughs> let's get into some housekeeping. As you can see, we're wearing the same shirt. Yeah, we are. This is the Clone third alert. iteration of Throwing Fits Cut and Sew. Yeah. This is the Shadow Plaid work shirt, which is dropping on Thursday, October 5th at noon Eastern. That is correct. How much? $180. Yes. Give me um, the details. Give me the details. We deets. are fresh out of the laboratory with another banger. Yeah. We have perfected the perfect Shadow Plaid work shirt for fall. Um, the color combo, it's like a vibrant chocolate, a nice rich hunter green, some crisp yellow wheat yeah, with like a, a, Earth a, a white underbase at, in some areas. Hence um, the shadow in the shadow. Hence black. the shadow. Yeah. Straight hem, mm -hmm. right? No curvature to fucking accentuate your uh, big cheeks or lack thereof. Yeah. Um, what I really like about this, both in the weight and the crop, is that it can be a layering john mm -hmm. like you wear it underneath your fucking leather yeah. blouse on that you're gonna rock all fall absolutely underneath some like you know uh yeah. some rain gear if it's fucking pouring and biblical flooding all of this past weekend or you just wear it like a shirt like what i'm doing right now same -sies. or you wear it open over a beater like what my tiktok uh friendly friend over here is doing okay um but the crop like all right when we did the beefy blue that was an over shirt right yeah. that's some shit you like throw on over fucking a uh, crew neck sweater or over a hoodie and like you're good yeah for whatever tailgating fucking kicking it with the fellows in the park that shit is a shacket for lack of or over shirt whatever whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever you fancy but what I, what we realized quickly was that it's not a mid a mid layering piece because it is so long you could really only the only thing you could put it under was like an overcoat that motherfucker gonna hang unless you got a dust yeah do your nuts hang real. low do your overshirt yeah. hang low do a wobble to and fro yes it does yeah so when we went back to the lab and it's like all right well let's make some some shit that's cropped which one accentuates the length of your body mm. makes you look taller Hell sexier yeah. uh more fuckable for sure yeah and also <laughs> most importantly it's not like sh it's still like a boxy uh, kind of like regular true to size fit. I'm wearing a medium. Yeah, I'm in a large. Um, the only L he'll ever take. Yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah, again, again like my name. what I've been doing is is wearing it either open over a shirt um, and it does make me feel taller than the five foot 10 that I am. Um, <laughs> or as, or, or like, uh, sorry, underneath like a, uh, like a lightweight outerwear jacket yeah, yeah, piece yeah, sure. as like a shirt itself. Cause again, it's cropped. So it's like, you're not doing that dumb reverse layering Scott Disick, Lawrence Schlossman, Circa 2015 type shit. Oh, butt wipe era. Butt wipe era, yeah. Yeah, and I think that, like, you mentioned the overshirt. Then we also had, like, the beautiful, juicy, blue and cream striped mm. summer shirt. Easy breezy, beautiful cut. And so we kind of took some learnings, I feel like, from both. That, to me, the big thing there is five butt in front, dude. Right. We took the five butt in front from the summer shirt. We got a five butt in front on this guy that really works perfectly with the fact that there are, there's nary a tail on this shirt. No. That that shit is fucking straight. Shit is assless. Exactly, dude. Just fucking crop. Put the yeeks out. Exactly where you want it to be um, within, you know, depending on your height, a, a couple inches here or there. Um, yeah, dude, you can wear it fucking super open. Again, easy breezy like me. You can fucking button it up like James. But the big thing, again, no matter what, your light outerwear 
John of Choices, Leather Blue Son, uh, Dickie's Eisenhower Jacket, Carhartt Detroit, any of that fucking cropped kind of fall outerwear, light outerwear, this guy is going to sit perfectly on Yeah, there. and also through the winter, too. Um, I would be remiss to mention that while the beefy blue was, like, a, obviously a fucking blue joint with some, like, you know, color interplay through, like, the, uh, the darning, is that what it's called? Um, or the Dobby. Dobby. And the summer shirt, the easy breezy beautiful boy summer shirt that we wanted, uh, we knew it was going to be kind of like a uh, off white with like a blue and cream stripey. Stripe me down. I think what was nice about this is one, again, we'd be remiss to say if we didn't mention that the fucking fabric itself is soft as whiskey dick. Dude, um, soft as baby shit, dude. Yeah, the shit. You're not going to find a softer flannel than this, ladies and gentlemen. No. 100% cotton flannel, dude. This shit is fucking, you can go right on nips, dude. I'm going, I'm going, I'm raw dogging the nips, which I never do because I have sensey nippies. <laughs> Um, usually like, you know, it's like taking a cheese grater to these boys. If I'm wearing like anybody else's fucking not anymore, uh, shirt, even like, no. I mean, except for like, you know, like the lightweight shit, but, um, anything in that kind of, you know, 55 to 69 degree area, like normally that shit is just rubbing me the wrong yeah. way. Literally. Um, this on my, my nipples are fucking dude. The hand feel they're not even, they're, not even, they're, they're not even perked up, baby. They're flush with the chest. The hand I look like little Yachty out here. The, the hand feel on this is going to ruin every flannel for you forever. Now, yes. there is, I promise you, I honestly hand to God who is ass. Uh, you will not find a softer flannel and all of the fucking earth tones we mentioned. This is important, bro. Again, custom fucking died. You are never going to see this swatch at another brand. We talked to Saeed about this. Oh my God. Yeah. The Reddit has kind of found a couple um, doppelganger John, some clones where like, Hey, there's a factory. They got a lot of the clients. Maybe there is a banger swatch that multiple fucking brands end up using. And then you got a fucking Spider-Man me moment. Never with us. Every yarn yeah. is custom dyed every single I mean, other the way, fucking time. The way it works, we find a swatch that is kind of like in the area of what we like. But mm -hmm. we're like, all right, but what we want to do is something that works with, you know, some fucking military trousers, um, mm -hmm. so, you know, whatever denim, whether vintage or raw, yeah. black, light wash. Um, some fucking sweats when you're just bumming around the brib. So I'm wearing them with, well, we'll get into the fit check, but yeah. like whether it's with your fucking, you know, uh, green trow or like these fucking dark kind of slate gray boys. Yep. I've been wearing this with denim. A, a homie of, this is important. Uh, this past weekend, when mm -hmm. the fucking rain finally subsided, when the, uh, when the floods ebbed, mm -hmm. I was out and ran into a homie, uh, a friend of ours who has, discerning taste impeccable you would say impeccable and he legitimately was like yo this is my favorite thing you guys have done i'm gonna yeah. need one and he's never like really asked for one before and he, he's a he's a giver um he definitely is you know a generous lover mm -hmm. generous johnsman so i think i'm gonna give him one because uh you oh, know yeah, we, we don't do flow but no. like this guy's given us a lot and i think the new policy is i get one to flow you get one to flow Ooh, i like that dude yeah each one flow one um another important detail here because soft as whiskey dick soft as baby shit gonna ruin all flannels for you forever like we said this shit is also fucking built to last it is fucking hard wearing like it is a work shirt by nature uh two other details um we got dual patch chest buttoned pockets mm. so you can put what your cigs in there your sunnies uh, your pens your yeah. moleskin skin your, your journal your, 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 your dream journal your fucking yeah. goals and aspirations you're yeah. starting a podcast one day and then uh, a becoming a bible, podcast a pocket bible hey hey that it saved teddy roosevelt yeah when he listen, got shot exactly yeah his fucking his <laughs> my guy was saved by by the word of god himself yeah but again soft as shit but uh hard working and uh, i like to i mean this is a crazy big claim and i feel like I'm not to suck our own dicks, but it's like when we create these shirts, we're filling gaps in our closet. We've talked about that, but like I feel like we're creating future vintage, dude. Like these yeah. are going to last. That's the whole point. It's fun. So like creating or filling the holes in our closet. I think we obviously with like the summer, there was like no good short sleeve summer sh weight shirt, really a few on the market here and there for like, you know, pretty fucking penny. Exactly. And Half we came price, in at basically. 170 with this. It's like most flannels are too heavy. Yep. Or they're too like exaggerated in like yeah. fucking workwear type shit where you have like the big butt flap or it's two well, fucking beefy flaps. This is kind of like, it's a bit chic, if you will. I agree, a hundred percent. And like, yeah, okay, it's go, small in all the right in all the right places. Go to a fucking uh, thrift store and buy a stinky, shitty, you know, ill-fitting John for ten bucks, or like spend the money, which again is like 
if we were a real brand who did fucking wholesale, this is going to be twice the price of what we're yeah, offering. Yeah, uh, just under four hundred. But we don't keep it at the fucking math. For keep you guys it at one eighty. Keep it at one eighty. Yeah. It's a banger, dude. <laughs>